I'm Kimberly Gay with your entertainment report from NitHudsonNews.com. Michael Jackson's glittery gloves, spangled jackets, stage-worn costumes, and personal fashion effects are going on a world tour. Celebrity auctioneer Darren Julian says clothing created by Jackson's longtime costume designers will be exhibited in South America, Europe, and Asia before being sold to the highest bidder on December 2nd. A portion of the proceeds benefiting Guide Dogs of America and Nathan Adelson Hospice in Las Vegas. Very nice. Well, people in glass houses get sued. CBS is suing ABC and the producers of the upcoming reality show The Glass House saying it's too much like Big Brother. CBS says at least 19 former Big Brother staffers went to work for the Glass House and brought Big Brother secrets with them. CBS wants an injunction to stop the show from premiering later this year. Britney Spears is coming to the X Factor. Let the fun begin. Simon Cowell is sure to get a kick out of whatever she says, and viewers will tune in to see which Britney will show up, the one who shaved her head or the one who had a successful tour. There's still one more judge's chair to fill, as well as the hosting job, and it's said that Demi Lovato will fill the other judge's chair. It's everything Kim says she had planned out all along. Get rid of the men first. Kim Spradlin wins Survivor One World and the million bucks that goes along with it. The bridal shop owner from San Antonio, Texas, won the last two immunity challenges. And during the reunion broadcast, Colton says he's not as bad as he seemed on the show, but he says he had to be the sweet little gay kid or the bitch with teeth. Hmm. The next season of Survivor will be in the Philippines. Host Jeff Probst says three contestants from previous shows who dropped out for medical reasons will be back, and that could mean that Colton will get another chance. There's still some mystery about Wisteria Lane. Desperate Housewives ended its eight-season run with a two-hour episode, and in the last scene, there's a new housewife, Jennifer who's moving into Susan's old home, and she tells Susan she's worried life on Wisteria Lane will be boring. Susan assures her it will not. In local entertainment news, how about Purple Caniff, the Hudson Valley's premier surf and instrumental band, and they like to say no stinking vocals in this group. The date is Saturday, May 19th at Market Market, which is on Route 32 in Rosendale. It starts at 8 p.m., just $5, and Purple Knip will be joined with Megan Riley and Band. That's your latest entertainment report for a new update daily. Log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.